Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about rosacea. So this is a very common skin condition which occurs in the central part of the face and it often occurs after the ages of 30. So the main causes of acne rosacea are things like genetics, so some people might have a genetic predisposition to rosacea. Other causes include triggers like alcohol, sunlight, exercise, weather and topical steroids. There are also other causes like vascular abnormalities like the dilation of blood vessels. Uh, there's something called Demodex folliculorum which is a mite or some kind of parasite which is usually found in the skin of people affected with rosacea. And other causes of rosacea include immune factors like the upregulation of pro-inflammatory mediators and vasoregulatory genes, which basically means this person is more likely to have inflammation or vasodilation, particularly in the face. So the four types of rosacea which we're going to talk about in today's video. The first one is very difficult to pronounce, but we'll try. It's called erythmatotelangiectatic rosacea, which is where we have facial flushing and telangiectasia and papules. So this is where the face is usually quite red. Uh, we have the appearance of small blood vessels on the face and we have papules, so sort of like some small spots. We also have papulopustular rosacea, which is where we have red uh, papules and pustules, which have the appearance of acne, but there are no comedones, which are like blocked hair follicles. The third type of rosacea is phimatous rosacea, and this is where we have like thick uh, pink or skin colored plaque. Uh, with irregular surfaces, it has the appearance of being very hard and it's commonly appearing on the nose so it's therefore called a bolus nose. I'll include a picture just here so you know what that looks like and it can usually occur on the forehead and on the ears as well. And finally the fourth type of rosacea is something called ocular rosacea which is where we have uh, conjunctivitis which is inflammation of the conjunctiva, blepharitis which is uh, inflammation of the eyelid and a chalazion which is like a small bump which occurs on the eyelid which is due to a blocked gland. Now just very briefly to end the video we're going to talk about some treatment methods. So most cases of acne rosacea is treated by some topical medication like metronidazole, uh, azelaic acid and sodium sulfetamide which is also containing sulfur. These are all creams or gels and they are applied usually daily or twice daily. I'll include the exact dosages here. Now for specific types of rosacea like the ones that we've mentioned we have erythmatotelangiectatic rosacea which is where we have a lot of flushing and redness and the treatment method is usually with some kind of light therapy or some pulse dye lasers that's the treatment method for this. Uh, for papular pustular rosacea the treatment method is the standard topical medications like metronidazole um, and sodium sulfetamide which we've just mentioned. However, if it's not working, other treatment methods can include like topical clindamycin or erythromycin and if they're not responding to this, they could be given a dose of tetracycline or doxycycline, but it completely depends on the patient itself and how they are reacting to previous medications. For the phimatous rosacea or like the bullous nose which we've just mentioned, uh, this usually has a good prognosis if it is uh, treated as early as possible and the treatment method is usually electrosurgery or carbon dioxide lasers and uh, for ocular rosacea there's various treatment methods like artificial tears, uh, improved hygiene of the eyelid, uh, cyclosporine eye drops can also be used and, and in some cases depending on the severity oral tetracyclines might be used as well.